Hello, today I'm explaining question 20 from the UKMT Junior Maths Challenge 2019 paper. Emily writes down the largest two digit prime such that each of its digits is prime. Krish writes down the smallest two digit prime such that each of its digits is prime. Kirsten subtracts Krish's number from Emily's number. What answer does Kirsten obtain? So, a prime number is a number that can only be divided by 1 and itself. So, if we first look at the prime numbers up to 10, they are 2, 3, 5 and 7, because any other even number is a multiple of 2, 9 is a multiple of 3, and remember that 1 isn't a prime number because it can't be divided by 1 and itself. So, the digits of the two numbers have to be 2, 3, 5 or 7. To find the largest two digit prime that can be made of those digits, if we first start at 77, which is the largest number we could make, however that isn't prime as it can divide by 7 for example. Next if we go down to 75, that's divisible by 5. But if we go down again to 73, then that is a prime, because that isn't divisible by any other number other than 1 and 73. So now we need to find the smallest two digit prime that can be made of those digits. So if we start at the smallest number this time, that would be 22, but that's an even number, so that's not prime. If we go up 1 to 23, that would be a prime number however, because that's only divisible by 1 and 23. And so the largest two digit prime made up of prime numbers would be 73 and the smallest would be 23. So if you subtract 23 from 73 then that leaves you with 50. So Kirsten's number would be E50.